Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Surfacing. Today's just a quick little lecture. I had someone ask me about uh, mid-surface or face pairs. Now you can see I have a, a thickened part, sheet metal part, or what would be essentially a sheet metal part. Now uh, something to understand about mid-surface is in this context is that we're trying to find the neutral plane or the neutral surface of a sheet metal part. Now when I say neutral, you gotta remember a sheet metal part when you're bending anything. So if I take, uh, you know what, I'll use this, this little newspaper. If I take this and I bend it, there are several things going on. One is that the inside radius is compressing and the outside radius is stretching. And right in the middle, right dead set in the middle of that piece of sheet metal is the neutral element. And that neutral element isn't compressing or stretching. So when, uh, analysis group or somebody wants to go in there to figure out what's going on formability they typically want that mid surface and that's what this face pair tools is all about so we go into surface here and face pairs now there's several options and it's pretty straightforward just pick the body you want the face pairs from I'm just going to simply use progressive you have manual and thickness and all this other stuff but just for this one just to give you an idea of what the tool is for. I don't want to get too deep into it because then you start getting into the super geekery of it, which uh, I can do, but it's not all that exciting. But anyway, I'll just leave it on progressive. And uh, thickness ratio, tolerance, these are just uh, pairing options. What this is for basically is, is to make sure that the surfaces are within whatever tolerance you specify, a top and a bottom surface. That's all they're for. Now, once you pick your body, you can see body is picked. Um, you have faces to exclude from the pairing. So if you have a, an area that you want to not include, you can pick those. Uh, maybe it's uh, for the sake of formability or whatever that may be. And once you do that, what I like to use is just automatically create face pairs. And what this does is, is it goes through and it picks these faces. You see these outside faces. It's not going to use those outside faces for pairing. So it's not going to try to find the mid surface between here and here. What it's going to try to do is try to find a mid-surface between the top and bottom surfaces. You can see it's created something in there. Uh, let me show my result, and there is my mid-surface. I'm going to select OK. So what you'll see is the automatic pair and the face pair mid-surface. And it, if you click on it, it shows you where the original is at. So basically what it's doing is it's taking the outside, the inside, calculating where that middle is going to reside. Um, remember, a lot of times you're using this on a, maybe a body and white panel or something that's got a lot of shape and crazy form. So um, based off of that, that's what those tolerances are for to see, you know, maybe uh, maybe something's compressed on one end and something is stretched on the other end and it doesn't have a perfect match set of faces. So what the system's going to do based off of those tolerances, try to fit the perfect mid surface in through there or find the, uh, that neutral element as it's called. So if I show this thick surface you can see this goes right in to the middle now this thick surface is three mils so if I change this we'll go up to six mils for instance you'll see that that mid surface just automatically updates to that three millimeter the original shape is that surface right over there that you see that I offset in one direction now had I taken this and thickened it in let's say two mils in one direction, two mils in the opposite direction, that surface would have been the midplane. Now, typically, we don't design to the midplane of the surface or the neutral element of the surface. We design from, from one side to the other side, right? We have a, a face that everything needs to join up against, or you have uh, fastening or welding or whatever that may be, and then you thicken in the appropriate direction. And uh, um, to verify that that sheet metal is formable, to verify that it's a good piece of metal or good stamping, you would then use the mid-surface to get that mid-surface to run your analysis on. And that's what it's for. Uh, hope that helps. Again, just a quick little uh, intro to what a mid-surface is all about and how important it is to your sheet metal forming. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, if you have any comments, again, I like comments. It's always nice to hear from uh, people who watch my videos. If you like it, like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Again, thanks.